All right, so back to this, or should I say, you know, uh, I guess not really. I don't know. There's no real reasonable intro I can give for this. As you can tell by the title, right? Um, again, honestly, I'm a bit late to the party. I think it was about like a week ago that Civ 7 was announced. Um, again, right? Obviously, if you look at my channel, go just look at my channel, go to my oldest video. It should be around November of 2017, and it is a Civilization uh, Let's Play, not even on Deity. It was on like Prince. So, and I, I've been playing Civ even earlier, as early as, like, I think, like, middle school, like, 2012, 2013, 2014. I think I was playing, like, Civ 4, like, you know, some of the other, like, colonization, revolution, stuff like that. Civ 5 was the main game, and I did a few Civ 6 Let's Plays, but, you know, never really, again, I never really picked up, picked up or went off, like, anywhere. You know, just because, again, I personally prefer Civ Five. I'm not, like, I don't believe in the whole, like, like people will, like, it's almost like gangs. Like, it feels like Civ Five is, like, Bloods or Crips or something, and Civ Six is ER. Like, it's almost like a sin if you enjoy both games, right? You know, you have to, like, pick one. But, again, and kind of where that leads into this video is, um, this isn't really a reflection. This is more so just, again, thoughts and, like, predictions for Civ Seven and what I would like to see out of it, right? Obviously, it's template to come out, I think, summer of 25. Which, I mean, what was it? So, it's interesting, because I think Civ Five came out in, like, 2010. And I think Civ Six came out in, like, 2017, 2018? I don't exactly remember the specific date. Maybe later on. But, and so, it's, I guess, every, like, seven or eight years, you know, there's a new Civ, I guess now Civ Seven, right? But, again, so... And stuff I think we can, like, expect out of it, right? Um, and also, funny, because let's throw Humankind into the mix. Because, again, that was one that came out in, like, I think, like, 2021-ish? Like, 2020, 2021? And I don't know, like, I, I played a few games of it, but I never really, like, uh, got into as much as it. But, again, so as for, like, what I think we can kind of expect expectations. I think the big thing is Civ is now, I think, definitively, like, you know... I think it's definitively, like, Civ Five space-based, which if, I guess by space, I mean kind of the space of, like, the map and the game itself. So you have hexagonal, you know, tiles, or, or Jesus Christ, uh, what is it? What's a six-sided shape? I should know this. Um, yeah, hexagon, six-sided, because octagon's eight. I'm done. I'm a dumbass. Hexagon tiles, right, you know, and then one unit per tile. I think that's something that's been established. That was the big change Civ Five made. And I think that's how it's just going to be. So I don't think Civ is going to move away from that. I think the big thing is, and probably the big backlash for Civ 6, I think, it sounds stupid, is the, um, like, leader portraits in, like, the, uh, not, not like the space, like how I mentioned, but more so the art style. I think, you know, the art style was in, I don't, I didn't really care about it, but that was one that got a lot of flack, especially from Civ 5. So I think something we can expect is a transition back to more like, honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if they went back to like Civ 4 style, where it's almost like you have like a frame of the leader, you know, but I think that's something we can reasonably expect given a lot of the criticism that came out of Civ 6. Um, as for more like, I guess, specifics, I think a lot of the, because Civ 5, let's be honest, even with DLC was pretty basic, but I think that's kind of what I liked about it compared to, like, other stuff is, like, you had basic mechanics, and, it you know, you could expand a lot on those. Civ 6 introduced a lot of new stuff. Like, for example, you know, districts were the big thing to come out of Civ 6, right? You also have, like, governors, per se, you know, and then you get stuff like, you know, um, natural or national events, right? Like, natural disasters, shit like that. You know, so, and, like, you also have, like, cast this, but, like, you have a lot, I think, what it's gonna look like in this, this is the biggest cop-out answer ever, I think it'll look a lot like Civ Five and Civ Six combined. I think you're gonna get a lot of the art style, as well as, you know, a more movement back to, like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they went back to, like, policy trees, you know, from, uh, the card system, right? Um, as well as, you know, if they went back to, like, the older style, like, World Congress, you know, um, as well as, like, again, you know, stuff like that, right? But I wouldn't be surprised with stuff like if they incorporate stuff from Civ 6. So, like, again, stuff I mentioned, 
I assume they're going to keep districts, right? I actually did enjoy districts and think they're a pretty good mechanic. I don't know if they'll extend that to like World Wonders and those need to occupy tile, but I guess we'll see. Um, same thing. I mean, specialists are basically the same. You just have them in the districts. Um, what was something else I mentioned? Uh, or what, what was an R thing I mentioned? Shoot, I'm, I'm blanking out. Uh, the natural disasters, right? I think they'll probably keep those, uh, as well as, like, world events. Uh, Cassus Belli's, I think, are a big thing they're probably gonna keep, so that you can't just, like, there's actually, in more, like, war weariness, stuff like that, you know, in, in that'll tie into, like, happiness, you know, like, shit like that, right? How they run that, um... I guess in Civ 6, it's what, like amenities, but I think they'll probably move, but it will still have an impact on that. Um, and then other stuff, like they'll probably, I assume they'll keep religious victory, you know, and probably just incorporate with the art victory types. Because the, the thing is, you have um, religion, but you don't have, what victory type is missing in Civ 6? Um, you don't have like, a, I don't think you have a diplomacy victory in Civ 6, but again if they move back to like the older style world but again basically you i think you can kind of get what i'm saying at this point i think they're gonna move closer to civ 5 but keep a lot of those like civ 6 mechanics that they added which is not something i'd be opposed to again you know part of the reason why i like civ 5 is because it's a lot simpler and i'm just you know but you can play it a lot more in depth right like i think a big thing is civ 6 like there's only really one play style and i think that's something that like holds it back like you have just you go wide as fuck and then you just automatically like incorporate whatever fucking cards you need for whatever like situation you know you're doing since you can change it i think like every i don't exactly remember because i haven't played it in a while but versus sit five where it's like all right you got whatever play style like you know tall wide you know you can go like religion like you know you can go like war like and then that adjusts your social policy tree right you know but I think, yeah, it'll look, a lot of what it'll look like is just, I think it'll move back to, like, Civ Five, but keep a lot of those Civ Six mechanics. So I think it's going to be, like, a combination. And I think Civ Eight will be the one where it's, like, a real question of what it's going to look like. Because Civ Five was such a drastic change from Civ Four in prior Civs. You know, in terms, really, with how it committed to the whole one unit, one tile, you know. It's, like, hexagonally based, not, you know, squares. You know, you also got a certain, like, I know Civ uh, 4 had, like, uh, Civ 4's tech tree was weird. It had, granted, it basically had the same policy tree, you know, but then to add our stuff, like, you know, again. So, now, as for what I specifically would like to see out of Civ 7, granted, I think the reality is I'm probably not going to play it. Um, You know, maybe, again, like, I don't, I don't know if I ever finished, I think I have finished a game of Civ 6. That sounds crazy, but... I'm probably just going to still keep playing Civ 5, being honest. Um, you know, but as for what I would like to see, I think really the big thing is, really the big thing for me that would, well, also, I think they're going to, well, Civ 6 fixed the uh, multiplayer issues that Civ 5 had. Civ 5 had horrible fucking multiplayer connection. Um, I think a big thing with, that I'd like to see out of Civ 7, right, besides kind of the stuff that I've mentioned, is, like, a lot of quality of life shit. So, like, I, I know Civ 6, I think, implemented pausing online games. Um, again, that's something I, like, see kept, uh, like, or pausing the turn timer, right? You know? Oh, no, I think Civ is cross-platform. Um, or Civ 6 was. Well, Civ 6 was weird, because at first it wasn't, but then I think they implemented it. But... I mean, honestly, for me, it's, like, really the big thing is I just want to see it move back to, like, Civ Five, at least with those base level mechanics. I'm fine if it keeps all the extra, like, mechanics that Civ Six added because I do think, you know, it does pretty well. Now, in terms of, like, because I brought up Humankind earlier. That's actually a good point. Um, it's Humankind because I played a few games of it. It's interesting how because you have, like, the city and then you have, like, the actual tiles, like, being worked, you know, and stuff like that and the actual all of, uh, or like you have the sea and then you have it's like outposts and like shit like that like i think that can be pretty cool um but again they'll need to be careful of how they like implement it because right now it's like you've got like because i don't know if older civ games have but you've got basically it's all just based around the cities civ 6 implemented the whole districts and fucking you know like wonders taking tiles thing you know but i think uh 
you know, in terms of that, it'll be interesting if you could make like, cause like, let's say you could build like an outpost on like a resource or something, or like something that you need, but don't have within your own borders. That would, I could see that being like, you could build that and you would just have to have like a unit station there. And if you lose it, then it's like, that would be a pretty cool mechanic. Or like, let's say, and I know so, uh, encampments are another thing, right? Um, but I guess, you know, the big thing, uh, I will say one thing I do hate about Civ 6 is the fact that you have to build walls in order to have this city shot. Like, that's something that I'm not uh, big of a fan of. But, you know, again, right? I'm, I'm just more of simpler. But I do think that'd be a really cool mechanic if you could build, like, an outpost on a resource tile that you want but isn't in your borders. Granted, I'm not saying, like, send a fucking unit halfway across the world maybe it has to be like within 10 or 20 tiles of your current border like furthest like extension and then maybe you need to like even build a road to it or something right but again i think something that can, that can be pretty cool um that i think people have been talking about and wanted implemented for some time um again what else i mean i think yeah that's that's pretty much all i can think of i just i think the reality is because even with me, it's like, obviously, you know, I mean, like, the extent to which I play Civ Five, right? But it's also, like, I've been, like, hold, holding back on Civ. I've been pulling back. Like, I don't play it as much as I used to, and I think for me now it's much more of a quality over quantity thing. If I'm really dying or itching to play a Civ game, I will, you know, and it's some... But I don't think I'm going to really get back into Civ Six or even really play Civ Seven. I think that's just kind of the reality of it. I think the future of Civ on this channel, honestly, I don't even know if I'll go back to freaking Lekmod. I might just do Brave New World games, like, honestly, just because, like, for me, the focus now, and I guess I can kind of transition to a different segment of the video of, like, the future of Civ, because my focus now is on Reborn. Granted, once I reach a good stopping point, which is where the story splits, I'm going to stop in DDLC mods, right, because there's still some I'm interested in as well as our miscellaneous games. I think Civ is taking a much more backseat role, and that's just because, I mean, you can only play it so many times. Like, I believe I have I have 20 regular games. I have, like, I think, like, 8 or 12. I think maybe even close. I think it's, like, 14 to 80 games. I think I have, like, 8 Lekmod games, and I'm doing, like, however many. I think this is game 9 of Return to Brave New World. So it's, like, I played plenty of Civ games, and that's not... Well, uh, the first 20 did include non-deity. Um, but, again, for me, it's just, like, honestly, it's much more of a I play with friends now. So it's, like, you know, or whenever I can, right? But I think the big thing there is, you know, just... Again, we'll see, right? And kind of what that ends up... Uh, what that ends up coming down to. But really, for Civ Seven, I mean, you know, good that the this series is... Because it's really the only obviously you know map games like paradox games like people play them right but really for me the only one that kind of stuck was civ and i think it's because at least with civ 5 it was pretty simple but you could delve pretty deep into it right you know and that's something that i uh appreciate but i guess you know we'll we'll see when yeah we'll see whenever it uh comes out right you know um and i think a big thing is they're definitely gonna because obviously civ has had and has been doing dlc but I think they're going to need to really look at, like, upping the base game because Civ, even Civ 5 base game is pretty, like, not that great. You know, Civ 6 base game, it was all right. Like, I think Civ 6 base game upon release was better than Civ 5. And then the, because Civ 5, really, you needed the religion DLC and you needed the fucking, um, you know, uh, Brave New, you need Gods and Kings and then you need a Brave New World. Like, honestly... Civ 5 without DLC, I'd rather play Civ 6. Civ 5 without DLC, I don't want to play. But with the DLC, I'd rather play that. Civ 6, like, base game was pretty good. And then you got the two um, DLCs. What were they? Uh, Rise and Fall and then fucking uh, Gathering Storm. And they added a lot of new interesting mechanics. So, um, Grant, I still just like Civ 5 as a whole better. But it's something to where I think Civ 7 needs to look at actually releasing a decent, like, base game. Like, similar to Civ 6. And then kind of from there, like, rather than the DLCs patching the game, like Civ Five, but making it into a great game, I think it needs to kind of take the path of Civ Six, where it's like, all right, you got a solid base game, and then from there, they can decide what they want to do with their DLCs. But I guess we'll see what ends up coming down to. But, yeah, that's pretty much, I'd say, really all I got there. You know, again, I don't, I hate to say it, I still don't think I'm really going to play it, but it's like, who knows, we'll see about that. 
I don't really have anything else to say for this one. So, yep, sit for this one. See you in the next one.